Well, hello, Shadrach. So today I'm looking at another demo. This is called Tiny Bookshop. So I saw Nuke playing this, thought it looked quite interesting. I thought, I'm going to have a little go at this. So it's a game where we get to open a tiny book bookshop by the sea, and it's a narrative management game. So we get to stock the book bookshop with different books and items, set up the shop, and then run it, and, uh, yeah, get to know the locals. So let us have a little look. There's a demo out of this. Its uh, release date is to be announced, and it's by a developer called Neoludic Games. So let's dive right in. Oh. Okay, here we go. Now that is a tiny bookshop. It's it's a shed. It's a shed on wheels. Let's start the game. Now where are we going to set it up? What exotic location? I don't have a cl clue where in the world it is, but today is the day. I've packed up my things. Leaving everything else behind. We're going super fast. It's like Fast and Furious. We're going for a quiet life by the sea. Apart from that bit and that bit, that looks lovely. The bookshop. Waterfront Square, Monday, September the 1st. Is it in France then? Is that is that the French flag? Red, blue, white. Okay, so let's click things. Open the door. Well, open the windows. Open the door. It's a mobile bookshop. Oh, that's interesting. Can I drive away if I don't like the people coming in? Right, we caught one, quick drive. Um, okay, here we go. My, my, what a sight. You must be the new bookseller. I've heard so much about you. Okay, let's say how. Oh, don't worry, I have my sources. Anyways, welcome to our town. I'm, I'm glad you decided to stop by. I thought you might need someone to show the ropes. Okay, so this is the old bookkeeper passing on the uh, the bookkeeper secret book of knowledge to me. So let's see, you should know that us Bookstonians have very particular taste in books. I prefer classic and crime. Why don't I have a look at your selection, see if I can find something worthwhile. I've got crime. Um, I've got some classics as well. You had the right book on hand. Yes. Okay. When a customer finds a book, they'll keep looking for more. I've got classic. Let's see. Are you going to buy it? Are you going to buy it? Classic. Classic, quick. Oh, no. You didn't have the right book. Even though you may have books of the right genre, whether people actually take one home depends on your sales chance. Okay, that was a sales... Uh, sales chance 32% on that one. That's quite low. Yeah, you can hover over it and take, do the thing. What's the, what's the highest sales chance? The sales chance shows the odds that someone might find a book you they like. The chance is based on how many books you have in your store. Managing to sell that last book of a genre is the mark of a great bookseller. Right, what's the biggest one? 55. Mm, travel book or a fact book. They're the most popular. Okay, it's sunny. It's just nice today. Okay, we've got more people coming in. Okay, they're looking for a travel book. I don't have and a science fact book. Maybe next time. Oh, look, go for a jog, buy a book. Perfect. That's what we like to do. Please buy my books. Yes. Bought a fact book. Oh, look at this cool dude. I reckon he wants a fantasy book. Okay, let's talk to you. Um, hi, you're the bookseller, right? I see you already talked to Tilde. Did she know everything about you already? Yeah, she does that. She told me all about the review before I'd even started my job there. Oh, uh, I'm talking about the Buxtonbury Review. It's the local paper. Oh, dear. This is going to be a journalist. I'm scared. Could they could ruin my business. My name is Fern Estrada. Your arrival is kind of the only interesting thing that's happened in a while. You'll have to excuse my nosiness, but it's sort of my job. Okay, so we're going to give you... Yes, give me a free subscription. Um, what made you come to Buxtonbury? I'm, I'm drawing to where I belong or wanted an adventure. Let's do where I belong. Okay, 
kind of feel the same way. Hope it works out for you. What's your first impression of the town so far? Friendly. It really is. People might be a bit meddlesome. They only have the best intentions. That's the best interview ever. And I promise you'll have your first copy of the review by the morning. Okay. Wants to look at more of my books? That's fine. Somebody's got a load of books. Though. Look, three books. Yes. Buy all my books. Come on. Who's buying all these books? Is it? If this is a jogger, I will laugh. I will laugh because how are you going to jog with all these books? Oh, Kennedy, mate. What? Is that an author name? Kennedy. N Who's buying all these books? The Willows is a lot better than the movie. I think I've got a book addict. Somebody's buying all of the books. <laughs> are they ever going to stop buying books? <laughs> They're still buying them. Look at all the books we sold there. We sold five facts and five travel. This is the jogger, isn't it? It is. Imagine going for a jog and coming home with six books. How do you jog with books? I don't care. Because I'm, I'm, I'm shutting up shop. <laughs> Let's go and park illegally somewhere. Okay, so we've got a book review. This is the, uh, the is it a newspaper? So this reports on things going on around town. Tiny bookshop rolls into town. Have you dreamt of finding your true home and starting a humble business abroad? That's precisely what this tiny bookshop operator has done, choosing our very own town as our latest destination. When asked about their first impression, they said they find the town to be very friendly. Find out more about this new and exciting shop by visiting the waterfront tomorrow. That's pretty cool. And we must get different weather conditions, which is interesting. You can check today's and tomorrow's weather. Keep an eye for upcoming events. Here you can see the money in your pocket. I've got 82 coins. And all the books you own, both in your shop and in storage. Uh, in the classified section, you can acquire used block books. Click to buy. Right, so we're going to buy this. It's free, apparently. I've got... Yes. Ooh, random books. We've got drama, travel, crime, fantasy, kids, classic, and fact. Nice. The classified section will sometimes have bits and bobs. Let's pick up this cactus. What are we going to do with it? Okay, so while it's equipped, you get a bonus to travel sales chance. Um, plant standing... I don't know what that bit means. Close the newspaper by toggling it. Okay, let's give this lonely cactus a new home. So, I've got an item bar apparently. You can open a newspaper and customise your bookshop. Click here to customise your bookshop. Right, drag an item. Right, I want to drag the cactus. So, let's do it in the left window. Now you've got a boost. So we've got a boost to travel. Some items have an increase. Oh, some items can increase your sales chance for certain genres. Watch out, though. Sometimes this comes at the expense of another genre. That doesn't sound good. E equipping some items will also increase your daily expense. Keep that in mind. Okay, so we've got a cactus, which just gives me a boost to travel. To remove it, right-click it. Okay, and I can decorate by clicking that. I want to put my cactus back. Let's place something inside. Okay, like what? Oh, the cat. Oh no, have I just broke the tutorial? Um, so you can put the cactus inside. Click here to start painting. Ooh, okay. Shall we do? Oh, we can paint different things. I can paint the floor, Um, the bookcase. What would be a nice colour? I quite like yellow. Once you have satisfied it... Okay. Book sign. A sign that says booked while equipped, plus 50% to hanging effect. And we've got a table. Plus one daily expense. Show your beloved items here. Guest book. Plus 3% to custom accounts. Okay. So there's various things I can put in. Can I put a guest book in here then? That's going to give me a little boost to... Hopefully it'll give me more people. 
a sign that says books, plus 50% to hanging effect. Yes, I like that. I do like the painting as well though. So can I paint the outside of it? I can only paint certain things, I think. Okay, let's go back onto the interior. What would be a nice colour to have the floor to contrast with the yellow? Um, okay, we're not put up red. No, that'd be disgusting. What goes with yellow? About white. I can only seem to paint the floor and the bookcase. I don't want to use that yet because it gives me daily expense. So well, let's go back. Okay, so I can pick a location to visit on the map every day. Going to a location has a travel cost, which is based on your daily expenses, as well as parking fees. You'll unlock more locations as you go. For now, let's pick the waterfront square again. So is this where we sell our books each day? These are your books in storage. Select a genre by clicking on it to start stocking your shelves. Right. Um, so what am I missing? I've not got many fact books, or have I? Click to place a selected genre into your shelf. Click and drag to place multiple books. So left click one. How do, I, how do I just place one? Do I click over here? Uh, what are we low on? We're low on classics. Okay, so that's put more in. I've got six of those now. Stocking more books of a genre increases the odds of people finding a book they will like within that genre. And we can do the sales chance by hovering over it. And I can remove books but with a right click. So let's take out that fact book. Let's fill up the shelves. No need to leave an empty space. Right. I've got loads of kids books. So let's try and put more kids books in. And it's gone from 46 to 52%. Nice. Now let's put some more crime books in. We should be able to fit another... Well, 40 books we can have. Okay, let's just keep dragging them all. Oh, that's covering over them, isn't it? So how do I actually add? We have to click on the little little squares like that. I've run out of fact. There you go, we're full of books now. What's the highest one now? I think, ooh. Oh, we've got no classics. We have no classics, that will not do. Let's add a few classics in. That'll do. They're completely skewed. It should be drama is the most popular then. That's That's got nine. Right, let's go. Interesting, interesting inventory management on that. I like the items as well. So this is, this is looking good so far. Did you notice you can look around? Left click and drag. Okay, oh, look at that, it's a doggo. Uh, what's to the left? You can interact with things. Let's pick up this. Oh, now this this is one of those words that I always say wrong, like gooey. Is it buoy or is it boy? I've got a feeling it's buoy. Okay, while it's equipped, plus two to travel sales chance. So, surely that means I need to equip that, but I don't think we can equip it just yet. Okay, uh, we did buy some books before, didn't we? Should we get some mystery books? Let's get some mystery books. Five dollars. Nice, that'll do. And we've also got... What is that? A cooler. Plus 5% to all book Okay, that sounds like that's going to be good. And this is going to be accessible for the next day. Cool. Right, let's close up. Come on. We're open for business. Yes. Oh, this, this is one of those games where you can just click on things. Come on, what else can I click on? There's not many coming. Can I click on Doggo? Oh, I love Doggo. Is there any Easter eggs? Oh, give, okay. There's somebody in the shop. I didn't even see them. 
Um, I've run out of things to click. What's, is this a rival shop? Tilda or Tilda, there you are. I wanted to comment comment on how much you've been livening up this place. I'm sure you want to branch out. My friend Mary owns a cafe. If I call her up and get her to give you a car, yes. You can always trust me these sort of things. Okay, new location. Meet Tilda at the cafe. And while we're on the topic of showing your face, I heard our dear Walter was quite impressed with your wagon. Why don't you go over and say hello? Right, so we've got to do this as well. Okay. Talking to seagull friends. You might want to write this down. Have an organised diary. I still have quite a few unsold journals. Why don't you take this one? Don't make it too complicated for me, Tilda. Right, um, I've got a journal. Open it, checking your progress. So I can track which genres you've sold the most of. Useful for adjusting your selection. This is the total number of books you've sold. Let's see if you can beat Tilda's record. Is that her record? 12? Check back here for hints. Looks like this page holds postage stamps. So that's going to be like achievements, isn't it? Steam achievements. You collect these stamps as you are making contributions. You can also see your progress towards the stamps as well as hints and extra info. Hover over the stamp for more intro. So if I introduce myself to Walt the Sailor, hopefully I'll get an award. And that's complete previous challenges and complete, yes. And then we've got achievements in this cafe area. Cool. Right, let's close that down. Let's go and try and talk to the fisherman. Here he is. Ahoy there, kiddo. How's it going? So we got a an award. It looks like you've got a sturdy vessel there. I've got some old items lying around I thought you might like. So he's just trying to sell me stuff. What would I want with the raw fish, though? I don't know, but I want it. Surely I can't put that inside the... Uh, I can't put that inside the thing, surely. Guess I have to be careful. I might be able to sold. Why don't you make a bet? If you can make 20 sales to my buddies, I'll admit defeat. Okay, so that is a challenge. I'm looking forward to a little competition. Right, so we did that one. What else is there to do at the waterfront? We need to go to the cafe as well. We need to sell 20 books. Okay. Have we got anyone buying stuff? So what was this? Show off your catch. Okay, so I need to sell 20 books. Oh, here's the newspaper one again. I don't know if I should stay here or not. Should I stay here or should I go? I'm not sure. Let's try and sell some books. Okay, what are you doing here? Okay, it's going to be hottest day of the year. I, sh I assumed you'd be at the beach. Okay, I'll show you how to get to the beach in case you want to drop by. Right, so I could go to the beach and sell books. Would that be a f would, would that be a sensible thing to do? Right, how do we do that then? Um, I've completely forgotten how to travel. Where is my map? Do we just pack up? I think the, this, has the map only come on, come on at the end. I'm getting lots of unlockables though. I would like to get to the beach though. Come on, buy books. Buy all the books. And there's no one else new. Okay, we've sold seven books so far. Sales are not going very good. In fact, there's no one else coming. Oh dear. Okay, so let's pack up. So that's the end of the day again. Looks like some items have discounted. Now might be a good time to buy them. Although you could wait longer and risk someone else buying them. Items in the seasonal section have a much slower turnover, so there's no need to hurry. Sure to s s snatch them up before the season ends. I've not got much money. I mean, am I buying too many books? Ooh, 11 classics, 13 kids. That seems a good, a good deal. 
Now I've got all sorts of stuff in here now. I bought me, me expensive cooler thing. Let's go inside. So let's put that down there. That'd be good at the beach. I've got plus 2% to travel. <laughs> and just put like a rock. <laughs> and just put a fish on the floor. That's pretty good. Let's hang that from the ceiling. Okay, then I can choose the location there. Now, can I save? I think I can. So I'm going to exit to the main menu and go, that's it for now. That's it for now. This is a tiny bookshop. Definitely a lot more interesting than I thought it was going to be with the uh, different book genres, the different little achievements to do, and the different items that you can get upgrades with. So, yeah, definitely an interesting little game. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. And if you want me to play some more, leave a thumb up on the video and let me know in the comments. This has been Tiny Bookshop. I'm Shirley Rocks. See you next time.